They say I should feel guilty and change my ways Leaving crumpled bodies in my wakes Where I didn't mean to make them break Where I didn't mean to make them break But they're so delicate and so mundane And they keep coming Hello, this is Evo X Camp with Evo X Lifestyle And I have the beautiful Kiko how, how are you doing today, Kiko? I'm good. How you doing? I'm doing good. That's good. All right. First question. Um, can you tell us about yourself? Okay. I am 23 years old. I am born and raised in Monticello, Florida. I graduated from Florida State University with a bachelor's in sociology, and I had minors in hospitality, education, and psychology. Um, with all of that, I hope to one day open schools in low-income areas to help improve the educational system. Okay, cool. All right, um, what's your Instagram profile names? I have two. One is at Alexis Michaela, and the other one is at A-A-K-I-K-O underscore O, Akiko. What was it like growing up in Monticello, Florida? It was interesting, mostly because it's such a small town and it gave me a lot of time to be by myself and think for myself and not really depend on like technology and stuff like that for instance i'm 23 years old and my mom just got wi-fi in the house <laughs> so like it it really allowed me to like depend on myself and grow in that okay cool all right next question um when did you first get into modeling I went to my first modeling interview when I was 11. Um, unfortunately, at the time, I was very inexperienced. So they wanted me to take a couple of classes that I just couldn't afford. But yeah, that was my first time doing it. And then after, when I got into college, I just started pursuing more things on my own, like asking people, hey, I know you're a photographer. I'm trying to get into modeling. Would you mind doing a shoot or something? What are you currently working on? Right now, I'm working on doubling up my platform and modeling. I also am working on writing. I love music so much, so I'm into writing all types. Um, I'm getting more into making and producing beats and stuff like that, and really just trying to venture out with fashion. I really like to sew and stuff like that and other things, other endeavors. What are some of your secret skills? Um, one of my favorite secret skills is doing nails. Like I know how to do uh, acrylic nail sets and I also like to do hair sometimes, but I don't like to do hair that much. I'm kind of lazy with hair, but nails, I don't <laughs> know why. I like sitting and I like designing and stuff like that. What motivates you? Uh, I don't want to be rude and say myself, but I honestly feel like I am my biggest motivator. Um, but that's okay, you're supposed to be a biggest motivator because at the end of the day, when you don't have everybody else around you, who else is going to do it? What is beauty to you? Beauty to me is looking at yourself and looking at the legacy that you want to leave and being satisfied with it. Favorite restaurant in Tallahassee? Sweet Pea. Okay. Sweet Pea Cafe. It's a vegan restaurant. Okay. You're vegan? Uh, I'm not vegan. No. I like to do clean eating, but they have a really good quesadilla there. Okay. Okay, favorite new television series? You. I don't know why I like that crazy show. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but it's so interesting. I like, um, I like how the personalities are really shown out in, this, in that show, where you can actually see the characters interact and know people's thought process and really understand how everything is kind of premeditated even if you don't want to feel like it is. Do you have a celebrity crush? Bay Cole. Okay. J. Cole. Oh, okay. <laughs> All right. <laughs> if I had to name one, but he's my married, so. All right. <laughs> All right. Um, what, be an, what would be an ideal first date for you? Something in nature, like a hike or a trail followed by like a picnic or something like that. Mm -hmm. um, something like that. What's the first thing you notice about a person? Their eyes. I like looking at people's eyes. Um, they say that the eyes are the windows to the soul. So I believe that. All right, dope answer. <laughs> All right. Um, are you single? Yes. What's something you don't like um, that guys do around you? 
uh, disrespect each other and other women. Like, um, men often go along with society and saying like, oh, this is how we're supposed to be. We're supposed to be abrasive and stuff like that. But I don't necessarily agree. I don't think that you have to be like a hard rock. Um, they teach you to do that for like a poker face front, but yeah. it really just makes you more vulnerable because they say that um, a hurt dog will holler. So like if you're the loudest person, if you are always pushing people and doing stuff to invoke certain actions from people, it shows your character. It definitely does. Do you believe in second chances? I do, if it's qualified. Yeah. <laughs> I don't believe in giving them freely. However, um, if the relationship or situation is worth it, definitely. Okay. Um, what's the craziest thing you've ever done? Okay, so um, I was talking to this dude. Well, I was just talking to him. We kind of knew each other already from like high school, middle school, all of that stuff. And so, you know, I was coming into town. We were moving into town, wanted me to be his girlfriend, allegedly. So like we went out on dates and all of that stuff. And then as soon as I got into town, he just started ghosting me. So I'm calling, I'm calling, and then one time he pick up. And I get so mad, I just go straight to his house. I sit outside his house and I go to sleep. I go home and I go back the next day. Then his mom comes <laughs> and I just told her like, yeah, I'm about to fight your son. So she was just real sweet about it. She made, um, we just cook and talk and stuff like that. And it was just like a situation that I learned to leave. Okay, what animal would you want to be and why? If I had to be an animal, I would be an owl because they are, um, they, they represent wisdom. They, what else do I like about owls? Okay, so I would be an owl with, okay. because they represent wisdom and they obviously like the trees. I love trees, I love outside, outdoors, nature, all of that good jazz. And um, they kind of, like how often do you see owls? They often are very like away. So they'd be drinking their water and minding their business. I like that. Okay. A cowboy rode into town on Friday. Okay. He stayed in town for three days and he rode out on Friday. How is that possible? <laughs> You're one good Okay, guess. okay, okay. All right. So he rode out of town on Friday. Mm-hmm. He had a three-day trip? Yeah, well, let me read it back to you one more time. Okay. okay. A cowboy rode into town on Friday. Okay. He stayed in town for three days, yes. And he rode out on Friday. How is that possible? So yeah, he stayed for three days. Yeah, and he rode out on Friday. And he came into town on Friday. I don't know, maybe his horse got um, magical unicorn powers and he took on laps. <laughs> <laughs> All right, you give up or? Okay, um, the horse's name is Friday. <gasps> yeah. Fucking <Second> Friday. <laughs> he rode out on Friday. <laughs> All right. All right. Um, um, would you rather uh, your parents be able to read your thoughts or your crush being able to read your thoughts? Ooh. Um, my parents. Parents? Yeah. Uh, why is that? Because, like, I already say everything around my mom and my dad, so, like, it really doesn't matter. Like, my mom, she's, she's going to be the first person I go to for everything anyway, so it's not anything new under the sun with me. Okay. All right. Um, pick one, iPhone or Galaxy? Oh, uh, probably Galaxy. Galaxy? Oh, cool. You're the first girl ever. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> At all interviews, you're the first. I mean, okay, I like iPhone. Mm -hmm. However, it's not, like, if you were to really look at quality, mm -hmm. it's not really that slap. Like, they haven't really updated much. They haven't changed anything. They haven't made many innovations to their product. So yeah. I don't see a reason to feel like they're excelling. Yeah, I feel you. Would you rather stay in a one-bedroom apartment with five kids or in a five bedroom apartment all alone? I'd rather be alone. In a five bedroom apartment? 
Let me think about that first. <laughs> no, I, I would probably rather have be with kids, honestly. Because I feel like if if I were alone, then I would be too idle. But if I have kids around, then I can at least help somebody else out. And it's better to help somebody else than to just sit and focus on yourself. Yeah. Okay. What legacy would you like to leave? I would like to leave a legacy of love. I would like to leave a legacy where people can always feel like encouraged and know that if you don't have support in anybody else, like you, you have support in yourself and whatever you believe in. Like you don't need all of the things that the world make you feel like are necessary to make yourself be a legacy. Like create your own legacy, whatever you want to do, like whatever passion that you have, a drive you have, I want everybody to find that and go for that drive. Last question. Um where do you see yourself in 20 years? In 20 years, um, like I mentioned prior, I would love to see all of those schools open. I see myself with a couple of more businesses in like modeling and music and photography um, and fashion. I would love to see neighborhoods built. I would love to see like reconstruction on areas for myself especially like in my hometown, I would love to see a lot of things, honestly. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you guys again. I'm Alexis, aka Akiko. I want you guys to please follow me on my Instagram at Alexis Michaela or in at A-A-K-I-K-O underscore O, Akiko. Also, I want you guys to follow EvoX Lifestyle on YouTube as well as EvoX Studios on Instagram. Make sure you guys like, comment, and subscribe for everything. Thank y'all.